Hello guys and welcome to week 5 of 6 weeks long Run Your Best 5k program. I'm Coach Rane, your coach throughout this whole program and I'll be guiding you also through the last 2 weeks of the session. Some of you already did the previous 4 weeks, some of you are just joining us. Doesn't matter, just try to jump in, follow the program or go back to the beginning. It's your choice, whatever you choose. I want you to stay active, I want you to stay consistent, and I want you to finish this six weeks long program. Last two weeks of our programming is going to be everything about intensity and of course with running specific drills. I'm sure some of the drills that I will introduce to you are, are going to be very new and very exciting for you because you've never experienced them and hopefully you're going to introduce them in your running and training routines. Make sure that you also follow our YouTube channel as well as Microsoft Teams channel. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please don't be afraid to reach out directly to me, either commenting below this video or social media, such as Instagram, Facebook, whatever. We're gonna make sure that we get you sorted and that we give you all the information that you need. That being said, for today's workout, we don't need any equipment but some space around us, small yoga mat, and of course, bottled water as usual. Make sure to drink enough liquid. I'm boring to myself, but I'm also repeating it every time. It's super important, it's essential. Make sure you're drinking enough water throughout the day and especially during the physical activity. Well, let's finish with that. Let's finish with this introduction and get down to our warm up. We're gonna start by having slightly different warm up than what you're used to having. We're gonna do something I like to call baby's flow. So I will ask you to lay down on your back as usual, we always start by warming up and mobilizing our spine, our hips, so proximity to extremities. So we're going to lay down. For the beginning, we're just going to take our feet from inside and hold it and take a couple of deep breaths into our stomach. Try with every breath to lower your glutes all the way to the ground and glue your low back to the floor. While breathing, focus that you're inhaling in your stomach as well as exhaling that the air that you took in goes all the way out. Keep breathing. Perfect. Now we're going to hold around our knees and from here, if possible, we're going to swing up and down, really mobilize our spine, going through each and every vertebra one by one, very slowly and increase the amplitude of movement. And relax. Good. Lay down on your backs, hold again your feet, but now from here we're gonna roll to one side to other side. So just holding our feet, we go to right side, slowly to left, three times. Hold your knees close to your body, open your hips, last one. Back to the center, and from here we're gonna repeat the same thing, but with here, we're gonna extend the outside leg. So we go, go sideways, extend, get it back to the center, other side. Stretch your leg and back, three times. That's two, one more. And relax. Now we're gonna do the same thing. But we're going to extend the leg in the center position, hold it as straight as possible to the side, open the leg straight up, back to starting position, other side, extend, rotate, get the leg back as much as possible, and back to center position, that's one, sideways, open it up, and then connect with your shoulders, stretch, open, and back. Last one. Stretch. 
back, relax, stretch, rotate, back, and relax. Good. We warmed up our posterior chain. Now we're moving forward to warm up also our thoracic spine and hip flexors. So I want you to sit straight up, knees completely straight. If not possible, just flex them a little bit. Push your chest forward. And from here, we're just moving our shoulders left and right. Extend your hands, increase the leverage on our spine. Keep rotating. Head is following your hands. Right, left, right, left. And shake it up. We're still in the same position. Straight legs, chest forward. We're gonna add some flexion and extension if I'm in that thoracic spine. So I want you to spread, block your fingers. Spread them forward and arch to lock your back as much as possible. From here, we're gonna take a deep inhalation in our, through our nose, into our stomach, and push our chest forward in proud position. So open up your chest, squeeze the arms behind, and then exhale. In the starting position again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good. Next position, next exercises for hip flexors. So we're going to activate them in a nicely. You're going to see very interesting way. I'm sure this is going to be for most of you first time doing this. It's going to be challenging, but try to go through it. Again, same position, chest up, knees as straight as possible, and from here, back with, back with your toes so they're facing your chest, your chest, your head, and from here we're gonna alternate and lift one leg up, hold it for a couple of seconds, and lower it down, but without leaning backwards with our chest. Okay, so start in position, lift, hold, two, one, down, left leg, lift, hold, two, one, down. Try to stay as much forward as possible. So keep pushing your chest forward. Start in position, lift, hold, two, one, down. Lift, hold, two, one, down. One more rep, up, hold, two, one, down. Last one, up, hold, two, one, down. Same position, same movement. But now we're gonna add also opening up with our shoes, with our legs, sorry. So we're starting position, chest forward. I will quickly demonstrate, and then you're gonna go down to, the, to, to work. You're gonna lift your leg, open the side of it very slowly, get it back and down. Very important thing to take care of. Don't allow your back to fall back. Don't allow to sway sideways. So we're staying straight. You can even squeeze your hands that's going to give you slightly better stability. Lift your leg, slowly sideways, back and down. Three times each side. Left side up, sideways, back and down. Keep pushing forward. Down, left leg, out, in, down. Last one. Down. And back. Now, last exercise, this is very advanced position, so if you're not able to do it, it's completely okay. This is just to try to explore the movement. So starting position is the same. We're gonna lift our legs, start the movement, but we're gonna add some rotation, some swaying, and bring leg all the way back. And then from here, elevate the knee, slowly get the leg back. Same thing with other leg, up, Open it up, open it, hold the knee in the air, down and back, starting position, and back. So, if possible, now it's your time to do again everything. So this was a short mobility and warm up flow, so you can stop the video, do everything from the beginning, one more time, and then we're gonna continue with the session.
Second part of our warm up, we're still not done. I'm sure you had a blast repeating the round one more time. We're gonna do small plank flow to really activate our hip flexors and integrate them with our pillar and make it more running specific. So I want you to go into the plank position and from here we're gonna start by pushing, alternating one hip, one leg, one knee forward. Hold it for two seconds and back. Other leg, hold it for two seconds and back. Right leg, hold it, back. Left leg, hold it, back. One more time, forward, hold it. Back leg completely straight, forward, hold it, back. From here, we're gonna go now to downward dog position. So we're pushing back, holding. One, two, reset. Push, one, two, reset. Push, one, two, Reset, two more times. Push, one, two, reset. Last one, push, one, two, reset. We're still in plank position. From here, we're gonna add, pushing our knees forward as last time. The same elbow goes down, trying to touch the ground. Rotate up in the sky and back to starting position. Three times each side. Elbow, rotation, back to the start knee elbow look up in the sky back knee elbow look up in the sky back one more time inside back elbow rotate and back we're still in this plank position now we're going to add donkey kick one knee goes forward and we're pushing backwards the same as downward dog, kicking our leg high in the air, three times each side. One, back, two, back, three, and back. Switching to other leg, one, back, two, back, three, back. Awesome. This was our last segment of warm up. You can now stop the video and do one more round of all of these exercises. When you finish with that, have a sip of water, click play again, and we're moving to the main part of our training. In the main segment of our training, first, we're gonna additionally activate and engage our pillar, our hips, with some additional movement to mimic running priorities and running requirements. First exercise is gonna be unilateral glute bridge with marching. So we're gonna go in laying down on our backs position. We're gonna push our heels far away from the body. The further away you go, the harder the exercise is gonna be. Starting position, lifting our hips high. And then from here, we're gonna alternate with one leg up, down, and switch to other leg while keeping our hips stable and as high as possible. Starting position, lift, down, lift, down. When you're lifting one leg, try to push hard with the heel into the ground with the supporting leg. And that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is gonna be lateral plank march. So we're gonna go into lateral plank position. If my left hand is down, my left leg is forward. I want you to push strongly from your palm like you want to reach the stars so that you have a nice straight line going from your head, shoulders, hips, all the way down to your feet. From here, we're gonna lift one, then other leg alternating up in the sky. If it's too challenging, just hold the position for 20 to 30 seconds. When you're done with one side, you're gonna switch to other side. Third exercise, we're gonna go back to plank position, but now in straight plank position, and we're gonna do really quick switch with our legs. So starting position, plank, we're gonna bring one knee forward, close to our belly button from here, we're gonna make very quick switch, bum, bum, without any movement in our hips. So the main purpose and goal of this exercise is to make the switch as fast as possible, piston-like movement, 
So you want to shatter the glass when you move your knee forward while keeping our hips high. So don't think about lowering the upper leg down. Think about kicking and smashing the window with the back leg. Okay, one again, once again, start the position and stop and stop. How are you going to do this round? So I want you to do two to three rounds of these three exercises. So first exercise, unilateral glute bridge marching. You're going to do 10 reps with each leg alternating, left, right, left, right. So in total 20 reps. Second exercise, lateral, lateral plank bridge, sorry. With marching, you're going to do either eight alternating reps with each leg or hold the position for 20 to 30 seconds of course on each side third exercise you're going to do five quick switches with your legs each side so once you're going to have left leg up right leg down five switches short break switch your legs and do the same thing and i want you to do two to three rounds of these three exercises after you're finished with our Additional warm up, or we can say introduction strength block. We have second strength block for today's session. Again, three exercises, slightly more dynamic compared to the last three exercises. First one is going to be high split heel kick. Very interesting exercise that teaches you to have very nice recoil and movement of our hamstrings, which helps, of course, throughout the running movement. So, starting position, we're in high split position. So. We want to be actively pushing the ground with our feet, with heel being high in the air, having a nice straight line going from our head all the way from the heel. Your hands can either be on your hips or you can use it as a running leg movement. From here, the instruction is very simple. I want you to hit your glutes with your heel as fast as possible, get the feet down without having big vertical oscillation. I'll quickly demonstrate and you're going to then see what this exercise looks like. Starting position. So as fast as possible, try to reach with your heel as high as possible without jumping. So we don't want to see this. We want to stay low, active, pump, and back. Reset, you're going to need some stability. Up and down. Kick it and back. Of course, there will be some vertical oscillation, but don't worry, try to keep yourself low and just have the movement of your shin going, your heel going back to your glutes and getting it back to the ground. Second exercise is gonna be plank to side plank. So we're gonna have slightly more dynamic combination of the first block that we did. So start in position from here. We're gonna rotate to side plank, back, to plank, rotate to other side. Third exercise is gonna be bilateral leg curl. So you're gonna need a small towel, or if you don't have, I will show you also here substitute exercise. So you're gonna lay down on your back, put the towel on your heels, lift your hips up, and from here, you're just gonna either walk, if you don't have a towel to do walking, down as far as possible, up closer to your glutes, or you're gonna slide up and down with your heels while keeping your glutes high in the air. So, how to execute this block? I want you to do one or two rounds depending how, how tired you are already. First exercise, high split with heel kick. I want you to do five to six reps on each side. Don't go too big volume. Keep it short, but keep it as explosive as possible. Second exercise, plank to side plank. You're gonna hold each position for 10 seconds and then rotate to side plank, 10 seconds, back to plank, 10 seconds, to other side, 10 seconds, and you're gonna do that for 90 seconds. So quick demonstration, 10 seconds in this position, 10 seconds in this position, back to starting position, third position. Each Position you're going to hold for 10 seconds and in total you're going to accumulate if you can 90 if not try to aim somewhere between 60 to 90 seconds last exercise bilateral leg curl with a towel 
do 10 reps or if you're gonna be walking, then do 20 seconds of walking with your legs back and forth. As I said, do one to two rounds of this three exercises. After you did the strength block number two, it's time to do finisher. For finisher, we have four exercises and we're gonna do Tabata protocol. So you, you're gonna be doing those four exercises two times within one round and each exercise you're gonna be doing for 20 seconds. First exercise is gonna be wall sit. So you're gonna to need to find some wall, sit down, and we have two options. Option number one, just sit on the wall, which is easy. Or option number two from here, elevate one leg and hold the position with one leg being up in the air. Not too high, just a little bit. So that the whole pressure goes on one leg. 20 seconds standing on one leg. Immediately after 10 seconds of rest, you go down to plank position and here we do mountain climbers shattering the glass and keeping our hips low. Third exercise is going to be again wall sit but now with other leg. So you're going to switch your legs. Just make sure that you don't do mistake by putting your feet inside in the center but every leg should be shoulder wide position. Elevate and hold. Fourth exercise will be push-ups. You can pick either going from your knees or going as regular push-up. So these are four exercises. First one, wall sit, right leg. Mountain climber, wall sit, left leg, push-ups. After push-ups, we go immediately back to the start and do again. Wall sit, one leg, mountain climber, other leg, push-up. Each exercise we do for 20 seconds with 10 seconds of rest in between of exercises. After you're done with eight exercises, so four times two, make a two minutes break and then finish it off with one more round after that. And that my friends and colleague runners is end of today's session. I hope, I hope that you liked it. If you liked it, please make sure that you comment below this video or reach out directly to me to social media, Microsoft Teams, and make sure that I see you also on Friday because I wanna also see live your feedback on this session. Also, if you have time, go on our Teams or go also on our YouTube channel, check other content that we're creating. There's a lot of stuff like mobility, recovery, other programs, very interesting stuff that can really be beneficial for you in these crazy times being at working from home not being able to go to gyms or work. Thank you so much for joining me today and hopefully I will see you on Friday. Enjoy guys!